my my hero Julie Victoria Bravo calling CQ CQ on for me. Mike Sierra Mike Sierra November. Mike Sierra November. Uh, did I get that correct? It was a wee bit quick. Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November. Yes, good evening uh, to you. It's uh, Mike in the town of Gloucester. Uh, back to you. Yeah, KSL, Mike in Gloucester. Yeah, 10 over 9 uh, in the outskirts uh, of Glasgow. Uh, Mike, over. Hello, my name's Mike M0 MSN and you, know, you join me on a, a glorious day here in, in the Gloucester countryside. Anyway, I have recently acquired a DX Commander Rapid and uh, I'm not going to show you a video of how to put it together, uh, though I'm sure there'll be plenty of those. Uh, but what I will show you is uh, what I've done with my particular uh, version. I would like it to, uh, to do um, the 40 meter band, uh, 20 meter band, 10 meter band, uh, perhaps even the 6 meter band, 2 meter band. Um, ah, so enough to be going on with, I suppose. Uh, so this is how I've managed to get those particular bands working on my DX Commander Rapid. Thank you very much for, uh, for joining me here. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Uh, perhaps even give me a thumbs up and click the little bell for notifications of more videos like this. Thanks so much indeed. So we're making a, a trap for the 10 meter band and uh, this will also be useful for CB and the trap needs to be on this particular size of former which is 20, what is it, 24 or 22, 25 millimeter former. The trap needs to be, um, I think it's four and a half turns or four and a bit turns of coax. And what I need to do, I need to measure how far around it's going to be first and foremost. So let's take a little bit of coax out. So I need to be able to Turn this into a trap. It's quite a tight wind because it's quite a small former. Three, four, I believe it's only four. Let's check. One, two, three, four, that's five. It's five. Five and a bit turns.
Okay. Let me unwind it and cut that home. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five and a bit turns. So it's about 5.1, 5.1 turns. This needs a heat shrink now. I don't know if this is going to be big enough. We'll have a look. No, that's not big enough, that piece. But I probably have some. There we go. Okay, so we've uh, put some heat shrink on our coil, on our trap. Um, I've fed, I don't know if you can see this or not, I have fed the shield from this end through a small hole there, and then fed it back on itself. And I'm gonna put a blob of soda uh, just in there to enable uh, it to have a strain relief. Okay, and I've done the same with the center core on this end. I've put it through a hose so it have some strain relief. I'm just going to solder the, oh, let's get this in the picture, the center core to the shield here uh, so that the core goes round its round and then back around on itself. Okay, I just need to fill these, this bit with glue. Stop it, We're going to make it waterproof, and then we can uh, we can continue. So there's our 10 meter and 11 meter trap. Now, for this to work on the 10 meter stroke, 11 meter band, we're going to need two meters, 45 centimeters of DX10, our wonderful uh, DX Commander. Uh, wire uh, with uh, a fork connector on the end which I've already put on this as I said um, I'm not trying to show you how to uh, put together a DS commander here just how to make it work on 40 20 and 10 so anyway here we go um, so 2.45 meters of d10 and that's measured 
from the top of the connector here. So there's our pin point. Cut it a few millimeters long. And then there we go. That will do that size there. And we need that much of it. Yay. The top section of uh, DX10 we need needs to be 8 metres, 25 centimetres long with a 3 centimetre fold back. So let's measure that out and attach it. my goodness okay so configuration of the uh, DX Commander Rapid for use on 40 10 and 20 uh, so that's 40 20 and 10 also I've put a 6 meter element on for the 6 meter band that is a 1.5 meter element on the 6 meter band so this is the 40 meter element going up and the 10. Okay, I'll explain that in a minute. Here's the 20 meter element here, and that's the uh, the six meter element. Go up, go up, go up to the uh, guide platform. And because of the fact that I've got a trap on the 40 meter, I've had to take the cable on the outside, but to fasten it, I've used a bit of, bit of doingy doingy. Anyway, continue up. Here's the end of the six meter element and it's connected to where where's it connected there <laughs> it's connected to the um to the bottom of the 40 meter element return okay via some uh, shot cord now this is the end of the 10 meter element just here and that's where it goes into the the trap and then continues to be the 40 meter element okay then that goes all the way to the top of the dx commander rapid and then back down the other side to this point here hope this is making sense the 20 meter element is uh, at the bottom here and terminates at this point where I've uh, put some shock cord on all the guides um, and all of the elements here to keep them all nice and taut. Like I say, it goes up to a, to a peak and then back down again. Anyway, let's erect it. So it's usable completely across the uh, the amateur band on two meters. Let's uh, go to um, 50 megahertz if it will go to it. 70, 74. So it's usable on four meters. Yep. Can we go down to 50 on this? Usable on six meters. Let's have a look. Yep. Is it going to be usable on 
on 10 meters. Yep, with a tweak and on 11 meters. Here we go. Super usable on 20. Super usable on 20. And last but not least. On 40. Super usable on 40. Oh yeah. DX Commander Rapid. With a trap. For 10 meters and 11. Zero, Julie, Victoria, Bravo, calling CQ, CQ on 40. Mike Zero, Mike, Sierra, November. Mike, Sierra, November, uh, did I get that correct? It was a wee bit quick. Mike Zero, Mike, Sierra, November. Yes, good evening uh, to you. It's uh, Mike in the town of Gloucester. Uh, back to you. Yeah, QSL, Mike in Gloucester. Yeah, 10 over 9 uh, in the outskirts uh, of Glasgow, uh, Mike, over. Yes, all copied. Well, that's amazing. Thank you very much indeed. I'm using a, a DX Commander Rapid with a 40 meter trapped element, a vertical element. And uh, so this is an experimental antenna and I thought I'd uh, give a call to see if you were getting me or not. But if I'm 10 over, then that's obviously perfect. Thanks very much indeed. Back to you. Importantly, how's your noise level with it? It's put out a signal, but uh, uh, is the ears nice? And uh, is the noise level nice, uh, Mike? Over. Yeah, I was just waiting for the uh, the automatic uh, gain to uh, to to settle down after your transmission. I'm getting around about S three of noise here um on the on the vertical um absolutely wonderful really really nice signal from you you're uh, you're nine plus ten uh and fully quietening so it's an absolutely fan fantastic signal from yourself back yeah thanks for that mate well that's fantastic that you've got a, a, an s3 a noise uh, on a vertical uh and 40 meters <laughs> it's uh, that's quite amazing uh, in itself, Mike. Uh, working conditions here is an ICOM 7600, a Neewer microphone, NW800, and I'm using 400 watts from a Kenwood TL922 amplifier and uh, antennas at a half wave rotary dipole. Uh, it's about 43 foot high if I'm lucky on top of the tower and it's uh, pointing down south, Mike, over. Yes, obviously.